Hey, what's going on guys? Fearless here, and today I'm bringing you guys my uh, Search and Destroy class setup video for Call of Duty Ghost. Um, basically, I'll go through this real quick here. Um, as far as like the actual character, I don't really do, like, I don't, I guess this isn't anything out of over the top or like that, but I use male character, obviously. The head is just male B. Um, sometimes, I guess, actually, I use the male B disruptive. Uh, the headgear is PMC, the uniform is PMC Elite Tactical, um, nothing really too special about that. Like I said, I don't use any of the stuff, and then now ghillie suit's banned anyways, and prior to that, I really wasn't a fan of it, so I didn't really use it. Um, going into the classes, the first thing I'll notice is when I go through all of them is that every single class is going to have Dead Silence and Focus. I definitely think that Dead Silence is a required must for search, and I'm pretty sure almost anyone will agree with that. Um, the first class we have here is just an MTAR rush class. I just run the MTAR with muzzle brake and grip. Uh, perks on it, I have ready up, agility, marathon, dead silence, focus, and blast shield. I have blast shield on it because of uh, rushing up to the bombs, trying to get quick plants or anything like that, and then to try and avoid getting naded. I just go with the blast shield rather than trying to throw down a trophy system. Um, ready up, I use that instead of quick draw on a sub. I feel like that quick draw is kind of pointless for a sub, so I just use ready up instead. Uh, as far as uh, streaks go, I have only two first ones attached for the specialist. Even then, I usually switch classes so much in search, so I'm really never going for anything. So that's why just about most of them I have ICU as the first one. Um, aside from that, like I said, I don't really try and go for specialist bonus in search, even though I've gotten it numerous times. Um, the second class that I use a fairly amount would be my overkill class. I have my Remington with a red dot and FMJ. And I've got my L115 with a thermal. Um, streaks or perks again for this one would just be ready up, agility, dead silence, focus, and then of course overkill. Um, and then again, ICU and blast shield. And like I said, I don't really ever get to specialist bonus on this one because I switch around too much. Um, my third most common use class though would be just a flat out Remington. Um, I have the Remington with the red dot and grip. And then I've got a grenade and a stun with it. And then I've got Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, Dead Silence, and Focus. Um, I use Quick Draw on a Remington class if I'm just using like a more aggressive Remington roll. If I'm not trying to be so aggressive with it, I don't feel the need to use Quick Draw because I'm not really uh, trying to get around as quickly. Um, or well, I guess I could say I'm not trying to get into my gunfights as quickly, so I'm not as posted up. Um, then I have a Double Nade class. Uh, this one, you'll notice it does not have a uh, quick draw because the double nade, pretty much, yeah, it's self-explanatory. You're going to be sitting in a corner and you've, you know, you're in a corner, you're in a nade spot of some sort. So I've got blast shield on this class solely because the fact that I don't see myself moving around as much in it. So I don't want to get naded myself. And then I threw the extra lethal on there. So I have the two grenades. Um, I used to have uh, danger close, I think is what it's called. Um, let me see, is that what it's? Yeah, I used to have Danger Close on this class before it was banned, and I was one of those people that used uh, the Double Nades Danger Close for search, but I don't use that anymore, obviously, clearly, as it's banned. Um, the next class is just the MTAR with the INCOG. This is if I'm the bomb planner and, if some, and I need a smoke or anything of that nature, then I'll be more aggressive with the bomb plant, trying to be, I guess, stealthier. I don't really use INCOG as much anymore now that Target Finder was banned. Um, thermal isn't used as excessively in my opinion, um, although that whenever I do feel the need to use a thermal, I will use my last class down here, which is my Remington with a thermal and FMJ, or well, they call it armor piercing, but most people know it as FMJ, and then I've got a trophy system on this class, it's more if I'm going to be kind of, uh, posted up in anywhere where I can get naded or stunned, I'll use that, and then I've got a nade so I can still nade the bomb, and then I've got Agility, Quick Draw, Dead Silence, and Focus on that. And once again, I've got ICU as my first streak. Um, I guess I can real quickly, I can show you guys my settings. Um, if I can remember how to find them. Options, here we go. Uh, I still play on default. I played on default every single Call of Duty game. It's just been the way I play. Um, I don't play with vibration on. Uh, button layout's default as well. Stick layout default. Loot conversion disabled. I play with my sensitivity on 5. I know a lot of people play on like 3, 4, a lot of people play on 5, a lot of people play on 6, 7. Some people go insane and, you know, they try to feel the need that they need to go up to 20 for whatever reasons those may be. I don't know, but as far as me personally, I like to stay around 5. I feel that it works great for me and I don't really go any farther from that. Um, safe areas based off of your own thing. 
Um, and that's when you look at it on here, it's it's forks for me. Um, game volumes all the way to the max. I like my brightness a little bit brighter than others, but not all the way maxed out. I don't use colorblind filter. I disabled contextual lean. I know it's banned at events. It's not banned necessarily online, but I would just rather not use it in, at all. So I disabled it altogether. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much my search and destroy classes. And if you guys want to see my Blitz and Dom, um, just you know, leave the video some likes. Let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to get that up. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope that it helps some of you guys out with your classes in Search and Destroy. Uh, as I said, if you guys want to see Blitz and Dom, just let me know in the comments below. Um, as always, if you could, leave a like on the video, subscribe, helps me out, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you haven't seen them already, there's a couple clips in the corners. Be sure to check those out. Uh, there's some aces, 1v4s, 1v3s. I got a bunch of clips uploaded lately. So, But as always, hope you guys enjoyed and take care everyone. Peace.